All right, let's create a responsive uh, email in Business Catalyst using Zurb's responsive email templates. I'll share the link with this. Um, these are pretty cool. Zurb's the people behind Foundation, um, but they also make these kind of boilerplate um, email templates that are responsive. And here in this little screencast, I'm going to show you I'm using the Hero um, template, which creates kind of a cool little um, email template to work with. Now what's cool about this is that you can skin this just like you would, you can reskin this just like you would a regular web page. If we look at the source here, we are actually calling external style sheet, which is really not cool in the world of, of emails all the time. Only a really new um, email read, uh, client will be able to pull this off and make it look good. Um, so we want to make some of these styles in line when we're ready for deployment. And I'll show you how to use uh, a third party tool to do that. So what I've done is I've downloaded the, uh, the file from Zurb uh, from their page here, and I've extracted those con contents into a project that I'm working on, and I've named that folder newsletter. So here's the file that, you, that comes along with that. <clears throat> and so I'm going to actually um, open this in Chrome and show, us, show you what this looks like just out of the box. I'll make a couple quick CSS changes, uh, maybe an inline uh, change here and then we'll um, get this on the server here as quick as we can. So uh, viewing this in um, the inspector, we see that we have some inline styles here. Let's change this header color to something crazy. So I'll just grab a color from Photoshop here and copy that off to the side. Um, if we look at the actual text here using the inspector, we're going to see that we are call calling an external style sheet, and that's where I'll change that line eight. Uh, let's change this uh, color down here as well to something, this background color to this call out. We see that that's on line 42. So we have, so let's make some changes here. So we'll make our initial change here to the markup here that's real clean and easy to work with, just regular um, HTML here. It is table based, which is good for HTML newsletter, but it but it doesn't all have it doesn't all have to be that way. Once we get into inside of it, um, the table here, we can use just regular HTML. Um, it's easy to work with, and so I'm going to change that top header color. I'm going to change the uh, CSS. Let's go in and change the font face. To Georgia, and that background was on 42, so we'll change that to red. And so now we'll come out and refresh on that and see if we see our, our changes. And they are there. There's our Georgia. Our background has been changed up there and there's our red. So I'm happy with this. Um, I have to do a couple things to prep this for, this, for the system to make this a good email uh, readable for most email clients. I know it's going to end up on this server here. Here's my little test server. So I'm going to make an absolute call to the style sheet to leave that in place. I'm going to hit save. I want to make sure all my images are either absolute or carry the uh, leading slash so that they're served uh, from the root directory. And then I'm just going to basically upload this entire folder to the server. Okay, so while that's uploading, I'm going to actually take the HTML from this and copy it. And then I'm going to go to a third party uh, a pre-mailer, and I'll share the link to this here. I'm just going to scroll down, and I'm literally going to just uh, you could you could um, let's let's do the the URL actually. So if you remember, we we could paste our code in there, but I'm going to travel straight to it to make sure everything's on the server. So newsletter and hero HTML. Okay, so it's not looking very styled there. Let's make sure that we're calling our style sheet. Oh, we forgot uh, some of the, the URL there. There we go. So we'll get those on the server and refresh and see if that helps. And it didn't, didn't do much there. Let's refresh again. 
Okay, now we're now we're good. So I'm going to actually just take this URL and I'm going to hack it into this pre-mailer here. And I'm going to check this don't remove style or link attribute uh, elements because we are we do want to call that external uh, file if uh, if, a, if the client can handle it why not so the results that we're going to see down here basically here's here we're calling there's inline styles going on here that is really prepping this for most email readers and this is the kind of if you're familiar with HTML newsletters you're going to see a lot of inline styles basically this just prepped it for to be sent out as an email campaign so in the back end of BC I'm going to click to, uh, head to email marketing email campaigns add an email campaign some give it some name and then I'm going to head all the way down to the content um, step here step four I'll paste that into the HTML tab there and then hit save draft now I'll, um, what I'm going to do is um, I can hit preview and send And here we can actually see that it's uh, getting it's it's all ready to be sent out. And I'm going to send myself a test here real quick. So we'll send that off, and we'll see um, we'll see this in the email client when it comes in. Now, what's cool about this is that this is really flexible. You could you could reskin this really quickly. Um, come in and change a logo out, change out a big image. And uh, I've done this for a couple projects, and it's worked out really well. It's rapid deployment for responsive uh, newsletters. So, um, and again, it's not, it's not, normally you wouldn't want to just lean on calling an external style sheet, and you wouldn't even really want to hack all those styles in up in, here in the head. It wouldn't work as well either. Um, so let me see about finding this in, the, in my email client here and uh, see how this looks. Okie doke, so it came in. Let's take a peek here at how it looks. All right. So there's the changes we made. Everything is looking good. Let's see if this is actually responsive. Resize the email client here. Yeah, looking real good. So, you know, using those. Uh, those email templates from Zurb really uh, speed things along, and you could, you could, um, you know, tweak those to your liking uh, with very little effort. And um, as we see in the HTML here, it's pretty darn clean HTML to work with. So what you do is you actually um, work with it locally. You know, you don't want you don't want to dance around all of those inline styles when it comes to to uh, managing content. So. You can work uh, with your newsletter all the way to, to, to where it's done and then prep it with that, with that inliner tool uh, to get it ready for deployment once it's all buttoned up. Um, so this is a much easier way to manage uh, HTML newsletters.